So now you've got your Evo Torque, let's see what's in the case. Contained inside, we have the Evo Torque itself. You also have the test certificate. Now it's very important to check your certificate matches the tool itself. You also have the instruction manual. It's very important to familiarize yourself with the instruction manual before using the tool to ensure you're gonna be working safely. On the Evo Torque itself, we have a stirrup handle. The stirrup handle can be removed with the contained key. The purpose of this is to enable you to work in confined spaces. If you are going to remove the handle, you need to remember to install the spacers once the handle has been removed. And as a check, just confirm your tool is the correct voltage for what you are using. So, let's take the Evo Torque now to a working flange. In this application, we're going to be working with torque only. To get into torque only mode on the Evo Torque, we press and hold the two buttons, we enter angle mode, and we deselect with the cross. Once we're happy, check our units. To do this, come down on the arrow keys. View, you've got Newton meters and pounds feet. In this case, we're working in Newton meters, so that will remain selected. We're now ready to exit this program. This takes us back to our target screen. From here, we can either come up in value or down in value. I've selected 400 Newton meters. Once you're happy, Press the centre button for changing direction. Hit the centre button. Now we're good to work. As with any tool using a reaction, avoid placing your fingers or any other parts of your body between the reaction and its hard point. In this case, we're going to firmly locate, take our hands to the tool to pull the trigger, and torque is being applied. The tool has now stopped, and we've got both green LEDs illuminated. This tells us we've torqued the joint successfully. So we've seen the tool being used in a torque only mode. Let's now look at an angle function. To achieve this, we're going to press our up and down buttons again to take us to the setup menu. Once we're in the setup menu, we're going to select angle by punching the center button. Select the tick, this enables an angle function. Step down to the exit, press the center button. This highlights the angle setting. We can lift this up and down on those arrow keys again. Once we're happy, press the center button and the tool is now good to use. Again, we're gonna assume a safe working position and we're gonna ensure that our reaction is not posing a pinch hazard to you or anybody else in the working area. Pull the trigger. When the tool stops, you will see both the green LEDs illuminated, telling you your joint has been successfully torqued. We're now going to show you how to check a pre-tightened joint using the Evo Torque. We need to be in torque only mode to perform this function. So, by pressing the up and down arrows, this takes us to the setting screen. Pressing the center button, we go into angle mode, and what we now want to do is disable that function. So we want to select the cross, exit this screen, and we're now ready to work the tool. Points of consideration. What we don't want to do is to have the tool running and with high impact speeds from the reaction onto its hard point. So we're going to position the tool with the reaction as close as possible to your hard point. And then bring the tool on. And we get both green LEDs indicating you've got a secure joint. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. I trust it has been helpful and has shown you how easy the Evo Talk is to use.